Title 16 CFR Part 1610 is often referred to as the 45 degree angle test, a descriptor for the testing apparatus used. The test chamber consists of a stainless steel apparatus with a glass closure that allows for a test to be observed. Inside the chamber is an inclined 45 degree platform on which a specimen holder is placed. The apparatus has gauges for controlling flame height, a release button to activate flame impingement, and a timing device. The test apparatus is always used under a laboratory hood with the fan turned off during testing. The fan is turned on after a test is complete to remove any fumes that occur. The specimen holder consists of a top and bottom U-shaped metal frame. The top piece of the holder has hooks or thread guides on it for positioning the stop thread. The stop thread will have a weight attached to it. When the thread is burned, the weight drops to stop the timing mechanism of the test apparatus. The upper and lower portions of the specimen are secured in place between the two pieces of the metal frame with clips. In the open area, a specified flame can be activated to touch the surface of the specimen at its lower edge at a particular location. Before any flammability testing is to be performed, preliminary tests are done to determine which fabric direction, that is length or width, burns at the fastest rate. Therefore, one 50 by 150 millimeter specimen with the long specimen dimension running in each fabric direction is cut out. The specimens are mounted in testing holders, then exposed in a circulating air laboratory oven at 105 degrees plus or minus 3 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Then they're placed in a desiccator that allows cooling but no change in moisture content of the fabric specimen. Once the direction of the fabric specimen that burns the fastest is determined, five additional specimens are cut from the laboratory sample. For raised surface fabrics such as corduroy, sateen, velvet, flocked, and fleece, not only does the fastest direction of burning need to be determined, but also the fabric side that burns the fastest, either the face or the back. Raised surface fabrics also must be brushed using the brushing device. This device consists of a base platform over which a hinged brush is attached to a carriage that allows the brush to be pulled along the surface of the specimen mounted in a test holder. Although specimens from plain surface fabrics do not have to be brushed, the brushing device platform is used to mount specimens into the test holder to align them correctly for consistent flame impingement. Title 16 CFR Part 1610 requires that fabric must be tested as is, as well as after it has been refurbished. According to this regulation, refurbishment means that all fabrics must be dry cleaned, followed by one home laundering. The dry cleaning procedure is a commercial dry cleaning cycle, while the home laundering procedure entails specific options for washing and drying that are cited in AATCC Test Method 124 appearance retention after repeated home laundering. For actual flammability testing, five 50 by 150 millimeter specimens are marked and cut out of the fabric sample, with the long dimension along the fastest burning fabric direction based on the preliminary testing. Additional specimens may be needed to verify the flame impingement location. Raised surface fabrics are inserted into the specimen holder with the side that burned the fastest in the preliminary test uppermost and with the lay of the surface fibers away from the closed end of the specimen holder. The specimens are brushed from the open end of the specimen holder toward the closed end of the holder in order to raise the surface fibers to their highest level. Racks holding the framed brushed specimens are put into a circulating air oven set at 105 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Once removed from the oven, the racks are moved into a desiccator where they're cooled, but no humidity is added to the specimens. One specimen at a time is removed from the desiccator and immediately placed on the inclined plane assembly inside the test cabinet. The cotton thread is pulled through the guide on the upper frame to secure the thread in place across the specimen at the upper end of the specimen holder. A weight is attached to the thread.
The chamber door is closed and the start button is activated to begin the test. If the flame starts a burn and continues to the top of the specimen, when the thread breaks, it will drop the weight, which stops the timer and ends the test. Each specimen's burn time is recorded. The preliminary classification is based on the average burn time of the five specimens tested. Sometimes specimens will exhibit a surface flash that may or may not burn through the thread. Some fabrics may or may not burn through their structure. When fabrics burn through their structure during this test, it is called a base burn. The criteria for classification of burning behavior combine the average burn time and whether there are other observations of burning characteristics. For instance, surface flash, whether the base fabric is burned, to determine whether a fabric falls under class 1, 2, or 3. For class 1, normal flammability. Plain fabrics that have a greater than or equal to 3.5 second average burn time are determined to be a class 1 normal flammability category. Fabrics with raised surfaces are also class 1 normal flammability if they have a greater than 7 second average burn time with no base burns and may exhibit rapid surface flash. For class 2 intermediate flammability, this does not apply to plain fabrics. Raised fabrics have a 4 to 7 second average burn time with base burns. For class 3, rapid intense burn, plain fabrics have average burn times of less than 3.5 seconds. Raised fabrics have less than 4 second burn times with base burns. For plain surface fabrics, there are three burning behavior codes that are reported with the burn time of each specimen. DNI means did not ignite. IBE means ignited but extinguished. IBE can also mean ignited other than point of impingement but extinguished. The actual burn time, the time it takes to break the thread, is measured and recorded by the timing device to a tenth of a second. Burning behavior possibilities for raised surface fabrics are more complicated. Some examples of the burning behavior codes for pile, napped, fleece, and other raised surface fabrics that must be reported with the time of burning are SFBB POI means time in seconds, surface flash, and base burn at point of impingement. SFUC means surface flash under the cord, thread. SFPOI means surface flash at point of impingement. There are several other burning behavior codes that describe surface flash behavior and locations of where the fabric is burned or not burned. The observation of burning behaviors may determine whether an additional five specimens need to be tested before a final classification is recorded. It's illegal to sell Class III clothing in the U.S. Although it is not illegal to sell clothing classified as Class II, textile companies usually do not want to assume the risk of possible injuries, so only Class I items are sold. The CPSC has developed a laboratory manual that includes flowcharts to illustrate the prescribed sequence of testing for plain and raised surface fabrics.